of this overwhelming desire to shout, Who's your caddy? At this, every time I look at it, isn't it a gorgeous colour? It's the Caddy 5. And it's like a million times quieter than the old Caddy. It's a little bit wider, so you get more stuff on the back. There's different versions of it. And it's based on the MQB platform, which means it's, it's kind of, not quite, but kind of the same idea as a Golf. It gets a lot of the technology that a new Golf today has. It even has something that maybe some people prefer against the Golf, because it hasn't got haptic buttons on the steering wheel, it's just got old style buttons, which is kind of cool. So there's loads of stuff up the front for the driver. We'll discuss that in a few minutes. The color is called Costa Azul Metallic or otherwise known as turquoise. And it really pops, like the alloys on the side that are upgraded. You start with the cargo trim spec of it. Let's have a look around the back. Depending on the spec of your caddy, you're gonna get these whopping big LED lights the whole way down. They look deadly. At night time, they're like, I don't know, like something out of Star Wars. They just look cool and they got this claw vibe. And then under here is your camera, which will really help with driving. I'll explain more in the video. You open the door from this side. So you've got all your space then. Open this door right this way. There's little clips on these bits of the doors that if you push them back, you can then open the door even more if you're trying to, I don't know, load bulkier things in or get the van right up to a, an entrance to a building or whatever. So it's a bit bigger in here compared to the old caddy. Got a couple of tethering hooks. Uh, things you can tether onto here as well. You're not quite going to be standing up in the back of the caddy, but um, it's okay. There is, of course, a Caddy California coming. So this can actually be a sleeping space in a different vehicle. It's a modern caddy, so the lights are LED across here. And there's all the tethering bits right throughout the cabin back here. Floor, roof, entrance of the door, well covered. Kind of goes without saying, but yes. There's a door here on the side also. It's quite easy to close. Nice thud off it, feels solid. Around the front is the real obvious change with this caddy because it's actually borrowing, not fully borrowing, but the vents down here are quite like an ID3. So at first look at the front, people are saying, is that electric or is it petrol or is it diesel? What is it? So three output diesel options, 75 brake horsepower, 102 brake horsepower and 122 brake horsepower. That's the version that gets a DSG gearbox and that's what this is. This also has like, this has got 9,000 euros worth of extras. <laughs> so these are really bright Xenon LED headlights, ultra bright, deadly. So when you step inside, it really does feel very car-like. Like this screen and steering wheel and display here that will change modes is all straight out of an ID3, ID4, and Golf to a certain extent. Now the steering wheel doesn't have haptic buttons, it has older style buttons. So those of you that aren't sure about the haptic ones, you should buy a Caddy, because you'd love them. Now the engine start stop button is down here. That is a little bit different to what I'm also gonna do now because they normally have a start stop button beside, just sort of up the top. Uh, there's wireless charging in this version of the Caddy. There's two USB-Cs, loads of storage for drinks, different size drinks. I wouldn't mind a drinks holder somewhere here. Now there is stuff to put, you know, job cards and whatever else that you need to throw down here. So that's well sorted. It's all hard plastic that can easily be wiped and cleaned. Well, I love this. I mean, this, this is a seriously nice, this is one of the nicest steering wheels VW have ever made. And the fact that you're getting it in the caddy just makes it feel even more car-like. Um, stuff like your glove box is still all right. And um, there's a little drawer down here to hide things in if you need to put anything, maybe cash. Imagine you're getting cash on a job. Not that you would, of course, but you could you could stash the cash down here. The other thing that makes it feel really car-like is um, you get CarPlay and Android wirelessly connecting. Um, this version has nav, and that's all straight out of the car versions you can get from VW. Love the double armrests. You can raise them or hire them with little kind of jog things underneath so you and your passenger and I remember colleagues when you can actually be around them um, they can they can sit comfortably there uh, there's good good adjustment on the steel on the steering wheel as well depending on how big or small you are so no complaints there at all and the air vents sit actually a bit higher than things like the golf so instead of sometimes you've been having slightly cold knees this is like nicely directed at your face 
Shortcut I can give you, maybe you haven't seen it yet. People still reply to my comments going, I didn't know that. Double tap on the climate and your heated seats will turn on. And again, uh, there's little packs you can get to have these things added to your caddy. In fact, let me go through the spec list of what, of what this has. This is, and I need to take my phone out for this because this is, this is incredible stuff. Like the price of the caddy is just over 20,000 euro, including VAT. How do you add 9,000 euros worth? Well, the lunatics in Volkswagen Ireland <laughs> managed to do that. So this car has got, I'm sorry, caddy van. A metallic paint, nice. A 17 inch alloy wheels, first aid kit, black roof rails up the top. They, they look good. It's got keyless entry. Does make the job easier. Uh, airbags all over the shop side and curtain ones. The manual sliding door on the passenger side with power latching. That's extra. It has an alarm. In fairness, if you're carrying tools, you probably would want an alarm, wouldn't you? There's adaptive cruise control. If you're driving an automatic, you tell it how far away or close you want it to be to so the car in front, it keeps up and it'll do it and stop start traffic on a motorway. How cool is that? Full tank, over 800 kilometers out of a tank of juice. That's when it's full anyway, obviously depending on how you drive that. Dynamic road sign display, what's that? Well, it'll tell you in your dash what your speed limit is where you are, and if you drive past speed uh, signs on the road, little camera in there, will pick them up and change it accordingly. And it'll also do that uh, and flash open the screen if you're breaking the speed limit. This also is lane assist, lane keeping pattern, blind spot in your mirrors, very, very helpful. What else has it got? Um, rubber floor covering the load compartment and also down here which are deadly because you just wipe all that stuff mucky boots it don't matter it's got parking sensors on the front and back i mean they've gone crazy with it but good news is the leds on the front and the back are standard that's very generous you'll get the standard cruise control if you don't go for the radar guided version of it and there's a driver awareness thing going on so if you're on a long job and you're wrecked it'll start to notice if you're starting to drift as you're driving along, which is obviously very, very dangerous. So there's some good safety stuff for standards, good comfort stuff for standard, and if you want to go absolutely balls out and put 9,000 euros worth of extras on it, well, VW will very happily take your money. But things are obviously going very well if you have that kind of money. So again, this is very like what you're going to get in a modern Volkswagen. You can get loads of data, your fuel economy and long term and all that stuff. You can start your stop start traffic from here, shortcuts to the climate button are there, you can set up smart climates, so it does things like, hey, warm my hands, warm my feet, or use the classic style of climate control. There's also a park assist, which you can set up and it'll park for you. It is an option. And then your sensing, you can control all this from here. Lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, all that stuff. And if you put the car into reverse, there is your really handy reversing camera and it'll give you your sensor overview as well. And you can make it different angles for the widescreen and whatnot. Give you a warning if you left your boot open, which I have. So this would be a good example now of how, without that rear view mirror, this is going to be a difficult van to park. I've already spotted a car that's behind me that has engaged in a three point turn before I get the opportunity and now they're gone. And I can see that the coast is clear, but actually I can't because now there's a van coming. And that's one of the, particularly when you have the cargo area boxed in it can be quite difficult to uh, just be aware of all your surroundings now things like blind spot obviously make that an awful lot more of a doddle but i just wouldn't like to drive one of these without uh, that reverse camera because it'll just make life easier for you there's no there's no two ways about it automatic gearbox it's nice i know there's probably a lot of people watching that it's just a luxury that you probably won't get so you got 75 102 and 122 brake horsepower options none of them are blistering quick if there was a, a an or caddy now that would be interesting um, but it's got it's got that low down torque that you need for a van if you're carrying loads and stuff like that so um, I mean, in lots of ways, you, you do forget that you're driving a bigger vehicle. And I always think that's a really good sign, a good way of kind of judging is a van easy to drive or not. If, if you feel like you're kind of just behind the wheel of a slightly bigger Golf, that's always going to make driving easier. Now, it can still shift away from the lights, particularly if you haven't got loads of stuff in the back. You know, it's got enough grunt to, uh, to keep up with the best of them. 
blind spot another thing that just checking over these shoulders and stuff there your, your view is very restricted there so having big mirrors and if you're lucky enough to be able to go for blind spot as well longer journeys and motorways i'm sure you're going to achieve sort of five to six liters per 100 kilometers around town you're probably looking somewhere around eight and this size of van probably is the van that you're going to use if you are more confined to city drop-offs and deliveries and stuff like that so it is going to be a little bit heavier in juice in that type of driving brakes are sharp you know again if you're carrying heavy weight in the back you want something that is going to be confident and as soon as like they really bite nicely There's also paddles on the back of the steering wheel if you really want to be engaged and involved in the driving experience of the new caddy. But I tell you what, I was in this first thing this morning. It was cold, it was dark. I had the heated seats on, the heat was nicely toasty. The two armrests were, were in position. And I was like, Do you know what? If you were freezing cold, getting up, going to a, a job or a site, at least the caddy would make you feel somewhat human uh, in the morning time as you drag your arse out of bed and you go off to a job and the day has started it, it, it kind of felt comfortable it was I was sitting somewhere that was cozy and there's a lot to be said for that uh, first thing in the morning when it's absolutely freezing and you know everyone else is asleep and you're like what's 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 the point of it all the caddy was kind of like a warm friend giving me a bit of a hug not that that's allowed ever again so really there's something for everybody in the caddy you want to choose from not only that there's a caddy california and yes we will have it on the channel when it gets released in ireland you can basically go away with two people in one of these and keep comfortably in the back how is it going to work out compared to a grand california or just a california like an ocean beach or something well we'll find out so it's a caddy that can do loads it's comfortable to be in it's really like they've stepped up the comfort levels for people who are driving vans you shouldn't feel like you're being shaken around and something that's full of plastic and isn't comfortable to be in because the caddy uh, is the total opposite it feels really like a car um, it's it's well priced from 20,000 euro including VAT obviously this version isn't going to be quite there this one is 27 then plus the extras but uh, as I said there's a caddy for everybody it just depends what your budget is loads of ways to support the channel patreon links below and PayPal links and subscribe links and the whole lot whatever you can do whatever is okay for you is daily for us and uh, at the very least if you can give us a subscription on the channel if it's your first time here and you've got a comment a question about the caddy maybe you've had one for years never let you down uh, what was your life experience like with a caddy please let us know we like discussing deep things like that I'll see you on the next one